Hello everyone, Rudar here with another Grounded video. In today's video we'll be going over the Weevil spawn when you reset creature locations. So, let's go ahead and get started. First I'm going to show you where I'm standing on the map. I am on the eastern edge. This is the hedge area. This is your eastern flooded zone. And there's that mu there's two mushrooms that are right here. Now, this is one I found while building the massive wall you see to the right here. Oh, that's for another video, so we won't look any further that way. But I was standing over here, and I was trying to get the bugs out of the wall, and I did this. Not that. That. And then one, two, three, four. And they spawn right here. There's four of them. I'll collect them for the meat, obviously. I get these two as well. Come back here. So that's four. I mean, it's not a lot. It's nothing near what I did when I with the aphid um, and one gas arrow trick that I have. The video will be linked in the description below. But this is the one that I found. And then one of my members, uh, Joe M, told me about one that he found. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pause real quick. I'm going to run over there. And I'm going to show you uh, that as well. So give me a moment. Let me pause. Let me get in position. It's over by the ant tail, So we'll be going in that direction. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right. Now we're over here near the western ant hill. There's the ant prison. Um, I do have a video for that. I'll link that in the description below as well. But on the map, you see this is the ant hill. Right here, this is where the ant hill marker is at. There's this, uh, well, line on your map. It's actually this little trench that goes right through here. Now, when Joe was telling me about this, he said in the mornings he finds them down in the trench. I came over here uh, on stream yesterday, or I think it was Friday on my Friday stream, and I did the whole fixed creature location, and I didn't find them underground. And I was like, well, there's none down there. All right, well, it may not work for me. Then I came up top, and I waited just a bit, and like four weevils showed up right over here. Let's see if they do it again. There they are. So there's two, three... And four. They spawn in over here somewhere closer to the spiders. So you saw the head direction they walk in. They walk towards this leaf that covers the little um, crack in the ground. So basically, stand here, leaf between you and the anthill, which is right over there. Reset creature locations and then look back towards the laser, which you can kind of see the laser right there. There it is. And, if, and just a few seconds later... Four weevils will walk right towards you. And then you just walk over there and, you know, kill them for if you're making jerky, if you need to make the weevil shield, if you want to make the stuffed weevil, because all that kind of stuff, you know, the stuffed weevil takes four raw weevil meat. And for those who have played with the weevil shield, it takes four as well. So if you're trying to craft those and you're trying to find weevils, or you just need to kill five weevils for a burgle mission, you can get five of them done real quick. One, two, three, four. And then move over here and do the other four. Now... I will also pause for a second. I'm going to set up a trap that works exceedingly well if, you, if you're worried, if you not worried about actively killing them the way I did it and more passive killing using spike strips and the lure trap. So give me a moment. Let me pause and get set up for that, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. As you can see down here below me, I have a trap that works for aphids, ants, and you see the few mushrooms on the ground in there. The mushrooms are what brings in the weevil. I know earlier I said something about a lure trap. The lure trap doesn't draw in the weevil. It's the uh, the mushrooms that do. The lure trap draws in the aphids and the ants, though. So if you need aphids and ant parts as well, this is another way to do multiple things at one time. You see I just made a square thing in the middle. Uh, mushrooms in this middle. And I made a second row just to wrap around. Now, if I sit back and just watch and wait, the weevils will show up. I know I've heard one or two already. Weevils are attracted to mushrooms. We did this live in Army Guys World yesterday during the viewer uh, grounded stream with viewers. He put down one mushroom, and within just a few minutes, seven or so, maybe uh, actually more than a dozen. I'm sorry, uh, weevils showed up for one mushroom. That right there is four mushrooms, or the content of one mushroom garden, because that's where I got it from. I have mushroom gardens right up there. I grabbed the contents of one of them and did that. So now I'm just kind of sit back waiting. Like I said, you'll get ants come over here because he's trying to get to the, the lure trap. 
You'll get aphids every now and then. And then weevils will show up. Let's see, there's an ant right here. He's about to die. There's another ant coming right over here. See? And the whole thing is, this is a more passive way for it to work. Apparently I killed a spider over there with a uh, spike strip. So I am, I might pause here for a moment just to see if I can see if I can wait for some weevils. That way the video isn't uh, super long for you guys. So give me one moment um, and we'll be back once I get a couple of weevils showing up. Where's that pause button? There it is. All right, everyone. So I'm back. Um, I waited the, the full day. I had a bunch of aphids show up, ants show up. I did have a weevil show up, but I didn't pick up its body in time and it despawned. And I think I know why I don't have as many weevils showing up to this area. But I do have some pictures and videos of this stuff working, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But I have the walkways like this blocked up by spike strips to deal with those guys right there. There's a walk, there's a gap down there that's also blocked. We'll run all the way over there. So this may be why I don't get that many uh, coming over here. Now if I were to put it over by Orange Base, for instance, and put it over here, I used to get a bunch right there. But the same style of trap. And then I'm just going to get back over here inside of a base, hop up there, and just kind of chill. And then we'll switch over and I'll show you the videos and the pictures uh, that were posted either in my Discord or from the video from yesterday's stream. Um, putting the similar traps in this same area. The nice thing is these guys respawn quickly. So let's go ahead and pause. And I'm just going to tab out of the game. Now this is Carter's World. Carter is a longtime viewer and sub, or uh, as well as a member of the channel once memberships went live. He's been with me since I was on Twitch. But if you take a look, he has ramps up that drop the weevils in, and there are mushrooms underneath with the um, lure trap on top. But if you try to count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus whatever, however many that is. So this is his trap, and you see there's the Raspberry Puncho box right there. My trap is just a little further to the left. A lot of people like to build on this rock right here, which is one of the two better uh, building areas that I uh, recommend. So that particular location, I'll go back in the game, is literally right over there. He is, this is Raspberry Puncho, and his trap is set up right here. And then when I show you the video from Army Guy's world, it's also right here because Army Guy has built along these rocks. So both these traps are in this area. So that's why I figured mine isn't working as well as theirs is because I've cut off some of the passways through the pylons uh, just to deal with the spiders a little better. But let's go ahead and repause. So that is all of his um, weevils coming in to get after. You see the mushroom here. You can see a mushroom kind of look through here. You see some mushrooms. And then this is his inventory. He literally cleared out his entire inventory, dropped everything, just so he could pick up all the weevil meat. And that is from passive, just letting him come after this. Now, this is my grounded stream with viewers. I'm in Army Guy's world at the time, at the time of this right here. And I'm just going to hit play because it's my video, so I can do that. It is muted, so you're not going to hear me talking down there. You actually can't even see me because I'm blocking myself. Wow, I should sit in almost the exact same spot. So you can see he's got eight spike strips, and there are two, four, five. There was another one over here that was six. So we have one, two, three, four, five. There was another one that went this way that was six. Oh, look, there's an army guy. There's seven. And this has only been up for a few minutes. When he, There it is. There, there's that one coming back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And this is an easy way to get weevil, weevil, weevil kills is to throw the mushroom. You see that he has that one mushroom right there. He has one mushroom right here. And then all the weevils. So if you're trying to get weevil kills, this is a great way to do it. As I'm pretty sure if I let this play a little bit longer, the camera will... I'm, I think I spin the camera back. His base is directly behind where we're at. And you're just seeing I'm talking to my chat at the time over here. You can't see because I'm sitting in the way of myself. Um, and that's why my, you can't even see the hand cam there because you, you're getting the one that's part of the video. But he's got all these weevils. You can see there's his base to the left. That's part of it anyway. He stretches out a long ways down the rocks. So this is a great way if you need weevil, me weevil meat to make weevil shields or stuffed weevils. 
mushroom surrounded by spike strips and just if it's right outside the base like this you're good to go so you see i'm bringing up the thing talking about how it's um using spike strips and such um if you have the area kind of blocked off like i do you may not see the results that they did but this is your basic setup i would you could even get rid of these ones on the corner don't step on it yourself though like that <laughs> he says don't step on it steps on it you can go down to just eight you don't need the 12. i did 12 because overkill is not a thing for me so something like that bunch of uh mushrooms in the center the lure trap brings in aphids and ants and then the mushrooms will bring in the weevils like i said i had a weevil that died here but his body despawned because i didn't pick it up in time so that is one thing too if you're doing this and you see weevils you know the weevil dead bodies you need to pick them up because the game will make them actually despawn and just disappear and then you've lost the weevil meat and there's somebody in comments say but you already killed eight of them no i reloaded the save from before i did that so that those are not that would not affect it but that is a quick way to just to farm some weevils there's the two small points i'm pretty sure there's more if you found another one kind of like with the, the two that i showed drop drop that in the comment section below you know share that with the community It'd be awesome um, but if not, if you're just trying to draw them to you to kill them, there's, it's a simple little setup. Spike strips, mushrooms in the center, and you'll draw them in. Uh, like I said, like these guys did here. This one is even more elaborate than what I did, and it's still drawing them in with just a few mushrooms in it. Or the one that was a part of this video right here. You see, he literally has just eight, and there are weevils coming in. And this has only been set up for just a few minutes in uh, in game. And it happened. That's why I'm thinking that the spike strips and the gaps are causing some of why I don't have any. So also too, I uh, noticed I had it went to another person's world. If you put a lure trap like this too close to the tree, it will draw out a wolf spider. They do, they are attracted to this. So that's a one way if you want to farm wolf spiders. Surround it by five or six rows of spike strips. Put that in the middle, and you might be able to draw out the wolf spider that lives underneath the tree. But if you like, if you guys like this content and would like to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Until the next video, y'all have a good one.